Tennessee doctor says the nation's baby formula shortage landed two children in a Memphis hospital. The two have intestinal disorders and require a special kind of formula. When their parents tried to substitute, the children's bodies couldn't tolerate the switch. Dr. Mark Corkin says they're not alone. This is literally not just Memphis, not just, you know, Tennessee or the South. It is literally all of North America is being affected. The shortage stems from a February recall by Abbott Nutrition. This week, the company reached an agreement with the Food and Drug Administration to restart production at its Michigan plant, but it could take eight to 10 weeks before the product reaches stores. We have a lot to do here to make sure we not only get that baby formula out, find out what happened and make sure this never happens again. House Democrats have unveiled two bills aimed at addressing the shortage. One would improve access to formula for low-income families. The other is an emergency spending bill that would hire more inspectors at the FDA. The images, empty shelves, desperate parents are heartbreaking. What the legislation does, it provides $28 million in new funding for the FDA. Republican House leaders are urging members to vote against the $28 million measure, saying it won't actually solve the problem. I think this is going to be a huge government controversy and there must be accountability on the failures of the FDA. The FDA commissioner is scheduled to testify before the House Appropriations Committee on Thursday. In Washington, Caroline Shively, Fox News.